all right so in this video i want to be back testing ict's favorite trading strategy guys the results will literally blow your mind because i guys i don't want to bore you guys and go through everything i did here so i'll be going through the screenshot i took of the strategy i'll be explaining the strategy and back testing it 100 times and showing you guys the results right i took some break evens i i just wanted to, to, to I just wanted to do it in a very, very realistic way. So I was like, okay, I move my stop loss to break even. Although ICT doesn't move a stop loss to break even, it never talked about anything like that. I'm not sure if it did. I'm still watching this concept. I'm still watching his videos and I'm still trying to learn if I'm still trying to learn some some stuff about his you know, concept. But the only ones I can find, the, the only ones I've watched currently are those strategies, all right? So I'll be going through the strategy. I'll be back. I back tested with this, and I was planning on back testing even more. But I already made some back tests. So this was the last remaining um, back test of around twenty plus trades. So let me just go through the trade I took. So let me just go through the trading strategy and giving you guys the results of that trade. You can see I got a lot of screenshots. Like guys, look at this. A lot of screenshots probably around 100 this this right here is around 50 screenshots and I had I had some more here so adding all of it up I haven't had more yet I have one on AUD GU and so I'll, I'll be giving you guys a breakdown of the win rates on AUD the win rate on GU the win rate on USD JPY and the win rate on US 30 I can find okay you can see US 30s so I'll be giving you guys the win rates of US 30 so um let me just explain the strategy real quick and uh, so you guys have an idea of what I'm backtesting and the results I'm going to be showing very soon at the end of the video or anywhere in this video. So guys, look, I know I might, I might get a lot of bashing from you guys because I did not, you know, use ICT's concept to the T, right? You know, ICT always say, you know, you can test the strategies and see for yourself. So I tested the strategy, but... I know I'm not yet perfect with using the strategy, you know, I'm not yet perfect, but you know, I'm just trying to do what I can based on what I know and how I understood what he was saying. So in case I made a mistake, in case I did something wrong, guys, please, I would love it if you guys can point it out because I'm trying to learn, all right? I have my own strategy I use in trading and I've been trading for one year and, and it's been working really well, but I just want to have some more. Um, strategies even if it's just one more strategy and add it to my arsenal it's gonna be good so guys if I did any mistake please point it out bash me and let me learn I want to learn guys please please all right so let's get straight all right so um, I, I, I plot I, I use this indicator called um, FX market session it's it, it points out the Sydney section the Tokyo session the New York session the London session but for this strategy I was only using the um asian q zone like the asian session q zone right when not well i don't know if i'm getting the logic the uh, the lingos correctly but based on my understanding that's what i would call it so what i call it doesn't matter but what matters is what is actually happening happening on the charts so as you can see this is tokyo session this purple box is tokyo session this is the highs of the tokyo session and this is the lows of the tokyo session so the first place price goes to during the london open this blue uh, light blue or is it, i don't know what color this is like aqua color the first place price got to was below the asian session as you can see price went just below let me bring out my drawing tool and see if i can mark oh, what's happening so back to the, what i was saying you know the first place price got to was below the asian session the first place guys as soon as market opened on the london session by ict always suggests you use the new york time I'm, I'm sorry i when i was back testing it well it's still the same logic just that you, you, the only difference is just the time difference so guys you know price broke below like i said and immediately guys price grabbed liquidity down here price grabbed liquidity down here and went straight up to the uh to the buy side liquidity so price grabbed sell side liquidity down here and price went straight up and it grabbed the buy side liquidity. So one thing that ICT will say is, you know, you can go down like most 
videos I watched, like most of the things I saw, you can probably go down to the um, the three minute time frame. ICT loves to use the two minute time frame, but I will show you guys the entry. You guys, don't mind this position size tool I added here. I was just testing something out, but the actual entry was on the. Let me just go straight and show you guys what the actual entry was. All right, so guys, back to the back to it. So I was looking for that entry, but I couldn't find it. But guys, it's still the same thing. This is exactly what I was looking for. So once price breaks below, like the first place price went to in that previous screenshot I show you guys. Let me just go back real quick. Uh, you can see price went below the Asian session range and grabbed liquidity down here and immediately ran to the upside. So the first location, like the first move it made was a downward move. So this indicates to me that I'll be looking for a sell once price grabs the liquidity above this highs here. So once price like literally just reversed and rally all the way up to this point to this buy side liquidity, I would want to definitely start looking for my entry. So once I spot a like a formation like this, you can see that price made <coughs> price made a run to the upside, you know gave us this 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 um this swing low here you can see price went up came back down this bullish candlestick went up then price closed below that bullish candlestick so the next thing i'm looking for is an fvg if ever the gap and once price you know gave me this fvg zone i just literally went in for the trade so like i said you can see price went like th that's um, grab of liquidity of the buy side liquidity and came back down Give us this bullish candlestick. I want to see price close below that bullish candlestick, which price did. Um, it, it, it took that sell, uh, that swing low down here and gave us this FVG. So, this FVG zone was, was my entry. Entry here, stop loss slightly above that candlestick that formed the FVG. And you can see price went for a three point, it, no, sorry, a 2.3 to 1 on just this one trade. All right, so guys, uh, this is the result of the back testing I took. I back tested for pairs and uh, this win rate includes break even trades. So on break even, I, I move my stop loss to break even at one to one. I'm not using structures to move my stop loss to break even. I want to make it as simple as possible when I back test. So on one to one, I move my stop loss to break even and it ended up bringing a 79% win rate. My win rate was, was around 50, uh, 60%, then my break even was around. No, sorry, 19%, almost 20%. So that was like um, a 79% win rate. My losing trades was around 21%. So guys, I only lost 21 trades. Although there's some things I could have done to avoid some of those losses. But to keep it simple, I just had to just you know stick to the backtesting plan and get, get the most transparent result possible. So guys, I backtested four pairs to reach 100 trades in three months. EU, UJ, US30, and USDCAD. So these are the four pairs I back tested with, and the result was mind blowing, guys. This result literally blew my mind. All right. So back testing ICT's forest, ICT's favorite trading strategy, the only forest trading video you will ever need to be profitable. So, guys, so go back and back test it, and be sure it works for you too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. It's your boy, so I'm signing out. Peace.